New this morning, the community in Loudoun County will gather today to remember the life of a fallen firefighter who died in the line of duty last month. Our Candace Cole live this morning in Leesburg with more. Candace, how are things looking out there right now? Good morning, guys. Things are going to get underway here in a little over an hour, but uh, let me get out of the way so you can see uh, the uh, traffic cones that uh, VDOT has put out here to direct and divert traffic. And we'll pan on over. You can see Cornerstone Chapels right across the way here, but we'll pan on over uh, to where you can see uh, fire trucks uh, going in towards one of the entrances down here. We're told that they will uh, at one point set up the uh, ladders on the fire truck. Uh, so, and they'll be on both entrances. That's actually the exit that you're looking at. Um, but as uh, fallen firefighter Trevor Brown is uh, going in, uh, he will cross underneath a set of uh, ladders. And then also as he's exiting, they are expecting some 3,500 people out here to pay tribute uh, to Brown who was killed earlier last month while responding to a home explosion uh, in Sterling. The celebration of life ceremony for 45 year old Brown will take place at the Cornerstone Chapel in Leesburg, Virginia at 11 o'clock today. Brown, who was a Sterling volunteer firefighter, was killed and 13 others were injured on February 16th when a leak from a 500 gallon underground propane tank caused a house to explode that happened on Silver Ridge Drive in Loudoun County. Now, if you're planning on coming out to pay your respects, you'll want to leave early we're told parking at the chapel is limited. The Loudoun County Combined Fire and Rescue System is advising folks to park at Segra Field and you can catch a shuttle over to the chapel starting at 7.30 a.m. And tributes have continued to pour in since Brown was killed at the site of that home explosion. Coming out here, uh, putting the flowers out, seeing that everything's kind of closed up, is it's good closure for the girls and for, for everyone, I guess. Now the procession is uh, set to start around 930 this morning and if you are commuting around the area you can expect significant delays around Battle Battlefield Parkway, uh, Tolbert Lane and Cy Collin Road. Uh, we're expecting those delays until at least three o'clock.